um, specials time or um, uh, your recess time or um, uh, the, the, the schedule and you all argue, then you've given the decision to the principal because you've not come in together. You know what? I'm getting so hungry just with these right here. So you got to be able to stick together. And guess what that means? That means you're not always... You see, for some reason, we think that we should always get our way, and that's not going to happen. And sometimes you get on a team, and you get five people, and two of them want one thing, and three of them want the other. You know what that means? The principal gets to make the decision because you can't come together as a team. You've got to be able to come together as a team and stick together because when you don't stick together, when a decision has to be made, then the decision is made by someone else because you as a group cannot come together with a consensus. If you want to be able to do this, this means that you're going to have to not always get your way because sometimes your way is not what the group wants. Like the Vienna sausages, you got to be able to stick together as a team. Now I'm going to find this other thing in here. Hold on. Sorry. No. Isn't this just terrible? This is one of the reasons why I shouldn't be doing these without being on the recorder. Okay, I can't find it. I'm going to find it in here at some point. But here's what it was. Oh, I did find it. Right here, pacifier. Um, uh, I, I love these. These are a dollar. Um, when um, uh, our kids were growing up, um, we had a really hard time getting it away from Jared. He was our firstborn, and we got smart with our secondborn, with Molly. We told Molly, um, once she got to be one years old, we said, when you're two years old, you got to get rid of the pacifier. Look, that's, the color's going to be bad there. you got to get rid of the pacifier. And we told her all um, from one years old to two years old, when it's your birthday, you got to get rid of it. you got to get rid of it. And on her second, um, uh, on her birthday, uh, as a two-year-old, she came out, and we said, today's the day you got to get rid of the passy. And she pulled it out of her mouth, and she said, I'm going to miss you so much, and threw it away in the trash can. I love the, um, past fires just for thinking about that. But here's the reason why I want to show you this. And I have put these in my desk. Do you know what these represent? When you buy one of these from the dollar store and you put it in your desk, guess what it represents? That you're dealing with someone's baby. I like to be able to pull this out when I'm getting ready to call a fifth grade parent and tell that parent that the child is um, going to have to stay after for detention because i got to remember that I'm dealing with that parent's baby. Even though it's a fifth grader and even though he's used horrible language or he's gotten in a fight, guess what? It's still somebody's baby. And we have a classroom of 25. We're running 150 kids through our, uh, our rooms in middle schools and high schools. And guess who we're dealing with? People's babies. So Molly um, uh, is now a, um, a speech pathologist, um, uh, 24 years old. She's a speech pathologist in my district. When I text her and it's 5 o'clock at night and she says, I'm still at school. We're having a staff meeting. Do you know what I want to do? I want to call that principal and say, why in the world are you having a staff meeting to 5 o'clock and my baby's in your library sitting there? You know why? Because she's 24, but you know what she is? She's my baby. We've got to remember that we're dealing with people's babies, no matter how old they are, and we've got to respect that. And we've got to make sure that we're coming across in a way that even though we're having a, different, uh, a difference of opinion here, even though you're not going to like what I say, the bottom line is I know that I'm dealing with your baby and I want you to know that I love your baby no matter what. When Jonah was in sixth grade, um, uh, he had um, PE, uh, as everybody does. Sorry, this light, this is one of the things I can't move here. Sorry. Um, uh, he, he, for, in PE, they would run outside of the gym, around the gym outside um, uh, twice, and then they would come inside and they would do their PE class. So they're running outside when it was good weather was their warm-up. So he did this in sixth grade. He hated running. He was very slow. He's like me, couldn't run at all. About three weeks into school, um, uh, one day as they were running, the coach turned the corner and thought everybody was in, and because Jonah was so slow, probably walking half the time, he was not around the corner. The coach didn't see him, and the coach closed the door and went in and, and locked Jonah outside. Well, Jonah beat on the door, but the way that the door is, you know, he's not leading right to the gym. There was a hallway. Nobody could hear him, and he was locked out of the school, and so he stood out.